What's up, everybody? This is Light Liger here, the one and only crypto enthusiast. And today we're going to be looking into this brand new video slash music platform called Vibravid, which is operating under the Tron blockchain. They have their own TRC10 token called Beatscoin, which is currently on an IEO. And also you can get it by delegating them some Tron because they are one of the super representatives. I believe they're in top 10 right now. So if you freeze your Tron and delegate to them, you also will be getting Beatscoin. So this has been out for a one week now. And what they are calling this right now is MVP, which stands for Minimum Viable Product. So it's kind of like a pre-alpha of sorts. So a lot of the things that exist on the platform right now are very, very early stages. And a lot of features are missing here, which I will be noting on the review. I will be kind of giving my feedback to the team. But I'm still very bullish about this project because I've been waiting for some time now for an actual uh, project to come along which could basically challenge YouTube or become a, at least a legit crypto alternative to YouTube. So let's get started. So one of the unique things about Vibravid, obviously, aside from the crypto implementation, is that it's a music platform meeting a video platform. So I have uploaded a couple of my videos right now here, which are actually in the trending page. It actually puts all the newest videos here. So I will be uploading pretty much all of my videos on the platform from now on. It's a good alternative for me to have, aside from uh, DTube and YouTube. And basically the way it functions is, let's go back to the music tab first. So we have uh, basically here, uh, three different options, which is free music, paid music and bounty music. So the free is obviously free. You, you can filter these out and it will show you music that you can listen for free without you know any, any payments. There's also paid music, which costs to basically play. I think this is a one uh, transaction only. So you only have to pay it once and then you can listen to it many times as you want. And the users who register the platform can set their price um, for the cost. Right now, one of the biggest problems that I personally have with the platform is I don't really know how to, what should I ask for my video? Should they be free or should there be a very, very low cost or a high cost? What should be like a good sum to ask from a music clip or a video in the platform? And that's something that I kind of also face in the libraries uh, platform is that they also have that system where you can price your own videos and so on. So it's kind of hard to, in the beginning especially, like how to price your content to make the good returns because one of the things that they don't have yet on the platform is a donate button. So when I go to listen to somebody's content or watch somebody's video, I don't have the option to directly do donate to them, uh, Tron or Beatscoin. So one of the things I do like about the platform is that you can choose payments in Beatscoin or in Tron. And also the thing about the economy that makes it great is the bounty system. So you might have videos or music songs that you listen and you will be get paid uh, by listening to them. So there's a um, actual one song here, which we can listen to. Um, and we're not gonna listen to it any longer because um, it actually takes three minutes to listen to it. And once you have like watched a certain amount, I think it's the full song in videos. It might be 50% of the video and then you get paid. Um, I don't know if in future the like actual users can adjust that period. It, it's a good system, I think, but it has to be, um, there, ha there has to be preventions in the platform to prevent gaming the system. So maybe only people who have verified their phone numbers can actually do the bounties. Maybe there should be a daily bounty limit or there should be, um, I don't know, some type of a KYC and withdrawal or something. But gaming or the system, so to speak, has to be like fixed. And it's a good system. And I like it. And in terms of this uh, music layout right now, so it kind of shows you the time of the songs and stuff like that. I wish there would be a hover system. So when I hover over to the picture, it shows me the full album in scale. Also, I can't adjust the volume on the sound. This is the, one of the first things you need to do on your website. I hate it when you can't adjust it. 
there's a liking button here, reporting button, this information button. Okay, here actually we see the uh, bigger scale of the singles cover or the album cover. Um, the music um, side of things don't really need that many tweaks, to be honest. I think it's kind of good. I would change the fonts here. I would also put that volume adjusting there. And maybe I could search by genre. Um, okay, we can have adjust this too, apparently. But I don't think there's a sorting based on... Yeah, there's no sorting on the genre. So I want to... Maybe there should be a playlist too. These are things that they can add in the future. But that's enough about the music. Let's go into the video section. So here we have actually my three videos on the top because they're the latest ones. Um, somebody has actually viewed uh, my top five mobile crypto videos and I got actually paid in Tron. In this one, I actually put cost in Beatscoin and the third video was in free to kind of experiment what people are uh, willing to do. Uh, here's a video that I actually already bought and apparently I have to pay again. Okay, we're gonna do that just for the sake of the showing the video for you guys. I'm gonna pay this guy five bitcoins. And this is a video. And the song is a very comedic actually. But um, let's mute that for a second so I can talk about it. The so quality of the video is obviously dependent on which you're gonna be uploading it as. The good thing about the platform is that it's like peer to peer. So it's good using the BitTorrent network to basically um, to do everything, as you can see, there's a loading bar in the below, so you can see, um, you know, how much is actually loading right now, and, uh, yeah, so that, that's a good thing, so it's scalable in the sense that they don't have to, the one, the, uh, what was the, they, there was a video platform, not Vidme, yeah, and what, what they ran into is because, you know, they had to buy space so people could upload their videos, the costs were too high, more than they could like were making from the platform. So that's a big problem when it comes to scaling. So a lot of these crypto video platforms are truly peer to peer, and I think that's the really the way to go. And there is a comment section also. Let's see, we can make a comment. Nice video, keep it up, and we will be seeing uh, the comments here. Um, there's right now, one of the things I want to see is obviously subscription feature. It's not in the platform yet. I can't subscribe to this guy. And as I said earlier, I can't donate to this guy either. I can like his video, I can report it or I can comment on it, but no, I can't subscribe to Jonathan Connolly. Um, and th that's something that, uh, needs a fix obviously. And uh, once the subscriptions come in, I think, um, that's going to change a lot of the current pricing too, because right now it doesn't matter if people watch my videos, I guess, because they can't subscribe. So giving them away for free doesn't make a lot of sense to me right now, unless there's algorithms and stuff like that, that will do me favors, uh, in the long run. And there's also like, it shows you what you have been playing. Um, here you can also manage your uploads. You can add things there. One of the problems right now is there's not any formatting on the text field. So let's take one of my videos and I show you guys what I'm exactly meaning here. Let's take this one, for instance. I'm going to mute the video. We don't need to hear the sounds. So right now, this is what the formatting looks like. So the links are not clickable. That's the one thing that's going to be something that I want because if I'm advertising a product or a link to a website or a social media thing, people are lazy. It's just the way it is. So they need to have an option to actually click them. And the formatting thing, even if you format it, just space it out, it will look like this in, in the actual description. That's not something that is very good, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be fixing that in the future. That's pretty much like, so basically things we need. Subscription feature, tipping feature, uh, botting has to be prevented somehow, Vol volume adjusting on the music, uh, fonts need some fixing, and also the formatting on text fields. Those are the things that I really need right now the platform to fix. And now we can go to the wallet, and what I like about this obviously is we can see things happening here. So I put up 80 beats coin. I bought it beats coin kind of like pre ICO things that were airdrop and, you know, people who got from delegating. So I'm not selling it anytime soon. I think it will grow more um, as the more things coming to the platform and it's pretty censorship resistant uh, far as I know. So hopefully there won't be political agendas, which would be 
generally assumed to be very left-leaning, so is it like going to be a big mess in terms of like moderating the content on the platform, but it's peer-to-peer -peer then again, so what type of a guidelines it's gonna have, it has to be able to be a lot more freer than YouTube to, in order to compete with it. Nobody's gonna switch over to beat Vibravid if, if it's gonna be same censorship. So that's very important. People have to get their subscriptions on time, obviously. These basic things. You don't really need that much to do it better than YouTube. Then it's just the popularity uphill, which I think crypto adaptation will consistently push out. And here is actually, I deposit 15 Tron here uh, from my own wallet because I want to support some creators here on the platform by buying their content in Tron. Also try to buy it on Beatscoin, kind of both of them. It will be interesting to see, like, will they add more tokens in the future? That could be possible from the Tron blockchain. That would be, you know, a good, you, we could see Sesame Seed or Tron Bet. These could be very interesting adaptations that they could do in future. But maybe for sake of clarity and, you know, not making it too confusing for the normies, they might want to stay in two coins. But um, there's a small fee that the actual Vibravid platform takes. So... Um, as we can see, that is 0 0.005. I believe that is 5. Yeah, that is 5%. I think that's very fair. Let's remember YouTube takes 56% of the cut. Um, that is a fuck ton that they actually take. Or is it 45%? I can't remember right now. But YouTube takes a lot of money. And what we need, really need to move into is really getting all of those kind of middlemen, sorry, out of the equation. So more money actually goes into things that are really relevant, which is the fucking users, the content creators. They need the money and obviously the users will be getting money through bounties. And that's one of the things I do want to still mention about when we go to the, let's go to the album section really close. So when we are talking about uh, the bounties, so it's a very nice, so if I want to promote a video on the platform, I just put a high bounty to it. So it's really good for advertisers as well. You don't need advertising really on the platform. You just create a video and then you just get Beats coin and then you show it out and people will watch it in order to get that bounty reward from watching it. So it has its own advertising mechanism, which is very, very good. Um, I don't think there will be a situation where some big people come in and just buy everything. I think people will watch normal videos without bounties also on the platform. But that's a bit of a, like a scary, not scary, scary prediction to say that will videos that don't have any type of a bounty be watched on the platform at all? That's a big, big question. We will see what will happen with that. I, I don't I, I don't want to say that, but let's hope it won't come to that. So people might be putting some very, very troll type of a bounty just to be list on the bounty list. So they buy 0 0.00001 Bitcoin or something like that, Bitcoin. So, um, and let's kind of look very fast the kind of the upload process. It's pretty easy and fast. So you just put up a music or video and then you just choose something. Um, we can put it this. And here it starts to upload and we're actually going to cancel this. It shows you actually the decimals, which are really nice. Let's see if it, okay, if you yeah, tab out, it's going to cancel it, which is good. So that's pretty much my like rundown of Vibravid. I tried to include all the important elements on this video. I have, you know, it has around 1,300 users right now. Uh, and it's been growing, you know, at a fast pace. So it's 100 users per day or more than that actually right now is a pretty good number, guys. We have to remember that this is a very, very small uh, platform right now. It's not being mentioned too much in the crypto press. I think it will be a major player. Um, once the IEO you know, comes out, I mean, the finishes, and they get more funding from Beatscoin, I mean, obviously from being super rep, and, you know, obviously the platform makes itself money from each of the transactions when people make purchases in Beatscoin and Tron. So they will be able to put all of these updates in. And they have a lot of development in store. They will be rolling them out every two weeks, as I mentioned earlier. So this is a platform where you can earn, you know, decent amount of money. And we will see how it will turn out to be in future. But it's definitely somewhere where I'm going to be uploading every single one of my future videos. 
Um, and I do hope there's going to be, you know, lucrative option for me. And I really need them to obviously those things that I talked about earlier. These are essential uh, things. And I don't, I mean, it's really hard to fuck this up right now. I mean, I, I think there's, you have the scalability in place. You have the economy in place. Now you just kind of market it and get more users aboard. And voila, you got something very substantial here, which can be beneficial for users and creators and no middlemen, no advertisers uh, taking all the money. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next review. Cheers.